All right, number five down below. All the ramps are five meters high. Okay, we know that the kinetic energy at the bottom of the ramp will be equal to the loss of potential energy at the top. Okay, um, they're, we're using, they're using G as, as 10. I'm gonna use it as 9.8 because we'll use this more often. But the idea is this, the potential energy at the top PE at the top is going to be equal to the KE at the bottom for all. And it doesn't matter which way it travels, the potential at the top will be equal to the kinetic energy at the bottom. That's KE. I know that got really messy. Sorry. Okay. So we are going to say for the first one here, all right, for case one, PE at the top is going to be equal to KE at the bottom. If this was moving at the top, then there could be more energy. If this, if this KE was, was not at the top but somewhere else and it had more height, we could say that it was some, there was potential energy here too, but that's not the case. We're going to say all PE at the top equals all KE at the bottom. So we say MGH is equal to one-half MV squared. The masses, if I do anything to move the mass over, I'll do a little color for you. I need to solve for velocity. I divide both sides by m. And the m's cancel out. So now we just have gh is equal to 1 half v squared. All right, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. And now I have 2gh is equal to v squared. And finally, we're going to square root both sides. So V is equal to square root of 2GH. We plug that in. You could use 10 if you wanted to. I don't want to because uh, I'm going to get actual numbers for this one and get used to it for the other ones. Um, but So I have square root in my calculator, second square root, 2 times 9.8 times my height, which was 5. So I have square root 2 times 9.8 times 5 is equal to 9.899, or basically 10 meters per second. So this will be 10. And because they all go to the same bottom point, this is 10 also, and that's 10 also, because path does not matter. No matter what, it's the same. And there you go.